Welcome back, I'm Bill Splodowski and it's time for iPhone Friday. Every Friday, tips and tricks to make your iPhone and iPad easier to use, more efficient, more fun, and just, you know, more helpful in everyday life. Uh, today, I thought we'd talk a little bit about turning emails into reminders. Why would I need to do that, Bill? I hear you asking. Well, it's very simple. I get a lot of emails from like, oh, I don't know, dozens of things that I need to remember in the future, right? An email arrives today uh, that's telling me about my doctor's appointment next week, or my car needs an oil change, or my subscription to some online service is coming due, and do I want to continue it or not? So anyway, all of those things very often arrive by email. And if you just read it today and then, you know, swipe and poof, it's gone. You know, the day of the actual appointment or renewal or whatever might come along and you're like, I forgot it. <laughs> so today, how to take your email and turn it into a reminder that will actually remind you of when it's time you need to take some action. OK, so uh, we're going to do it today with the regular. Let's jump over to the uh, to the phone here. We're going to use the regular Apple email app, which is the down there. You see it in the bottom lower left corner, the, the blue button with the white envelope on it. And we're also going to be using the Apple Reminders app, which is the one at the top right with the number two on it there, which means I have two things that I'm being reminded of that I'm not paying attention to. So a lot of folks, well, some folks that I know, myself included, use different apps for things like email and reminders. There's a ton of really good ones out there. And maybe someday we'll do a little review of some of the more popular uh, email apps that are out there in case you want to try something different. I'm always playing with a new app to see if I like it better or you know if it has some fun feature in it or whatever. So, but today, since most of us are just using the you know configuration of your iPhone or your iPad the way it just comes from the factory, we'll use that stock standard uh, Apple email app down there in the bottom. So I have prepared an email. Uh, let's let's open that up. Let me open up my uh, email down at the bottom there. I've prepared an email doctor's appointment, as you can see now. Yes, it came from me. OK, I had to send myself an email. Let's just pretend that it's coming from your doctor or your, you know, car repair shop or your online. What It doesn't matter where it comes from. The trick is what you do with it after you read it. So I'm going to open that up. And there it is. Hi, Bill. Don't forget you have a doctor's appointment. Dr. Wiley Coyote, Phoenix, Arizona, Flagstaff, Arizona. Of course, Wiley Coyote would be in Flagstaff. He's he's not with us. He's not with us today. Wiley is he's out somewhere. But anyway, you know, he's kind of like the mascot for this program. But anyway, so there's the doctor's appointment. So I want to set a reminder for this because it's a couple of weeks off as I record this. Uh, that date is a couple of weeks ahead in the future. And so I want to not forget about it. And if I were to just go on to the next email, this one might get archived or deleted and I might forget. And there we go. Now, here's where I'm not going to say the trick comes in, but here's where the, 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 the process comes in. As you know, or as you may not know, Apple has this cute, wonderful, powerful, helpful share function built into a lot of its apps where you can send things between apps. Like if I get a picture, I can share that picture by using the share function to send it to somebody with a text message, to send it to somebody as an email, to share it with someone through Facebook, doesn't matter. Uh, and so that share function is, is really important and really powerful. And it's not built into the Apple email app all by itself. In other words, there's no, you look at the bottom down there, there's no share button. And I'm hoping, Tim Cook, if you're listening out there, please share functionality in email. Um, the new Apple iOS software is coming out in the fall. And so maybe, just maybe if we're lucky, they'll fix that. But for now, there's a workaround, okay? so. I want to be reminded of this doctor's appointment. I want to send it to reminders. And if I had the share function just available to me somewhere, I would be able to share it. But I can, but there's one other step first. So all we're going to do is we're going to take that email 
and I'm just literally going to either tap or lay my finger on one of the bits of text as if I were going to copy it, right? And I can drag and I can drop all, not drop, I can drag my, you know, little selector all over this thing. I can tap anywhere on it. I can tap to, you know, but it doesn't matter. That's the cool thing. It doesn't matter. All we need is a link back to this email. So if I tap literally on doctor appointment, or let's try that again. If I tap on doctor appointment, there it is. Okay, appointment. I'm going to swipe over and go, look, at the far end there, out at the end, it says copy, look up, translate, share. And that's the important thing. So now if I hit that share text there, I know it's not the share button that we're used to seeing. But if I hit that share text, it will bring up the share function just the same as if we hit the share, uh, you know, the, 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 the button. The, it looks like a square, like a box with an arrow pointing out of the top of it. It just is. They don't show it that way, but they do let you share it this way. So down at the bottom, I'm going to swipe over and I'm going to, there's reminders. I'm just going to tap on reminders and it's going to take the text that I have highlighted, which is the doctor appointment. You can see it there and add it in as a reminder. Okay. Now at this point, all I have to do really is hit the add button. Okay. And I'm going to show you two different ways we can do this. So right now, if all I did was hit the add button up at the top, and you can see by the way where it says details over there, it's going into my inbox because I have some different folders and reminders, show you that in a second. But let's hit the add button up there in the top right and it goes away, all right? And now if we go back to our home screen and I tap on reminders up at the top, okay? And I go to inbox and I tap on inbox, well, there it is, doctor appointment right up at the top, right? Now there's no other details or information there. And if I just were to tap on it, I mean, there's nothing there. All it says is doctor appointment, but look, here's the important part. Look out there on the far right edge where it says doctor appointment, follow that over. There's a little itty bitty icon for the email. And if I tap on that little icon, it takes me directly back to that email. Oh, but Bill, you had it open. Okay. I, I hear you. I hear you. Let's close that. I'm going to double tap. I'm going to swipe to close. Everything's closed. See, I double press my home button. Everything closed. Nothing comes up. All right. Back to reminders, back to doctor appointment and tap on the email and it opens up that email. You see what it did real quick there? It opened the email app and it took me directly to this email, this, this specific email. Very cool, right? So that's a good way to do it. Now, that's the basic way. Let's talk about the first class. <laughs> you know, like you know, coach seats versus first class, right? All right, so I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm basically just gonna tap anywhere on it and I'm gonna select doctor appointment and I'm gonna hit the share button again and I'm gonna hit reminders again down at the bottom. But here is where we can do some fancy work with it. So like we already said, it shows details inbox. If I tap on that inbox, just literally one finger tap. Now it shows the details of it and I can add in the necessary details, right? So I can turn on by flipping the switch. I can turn on date. All right. What was the date? What would I say? Oh, it was the 19th, right? Let's make it for the day before. So I remember it the day before the uh, actual appointment, the 18th. All right. And then I can scroll down. Do I want to be reminded at a time? Yeah, sure. I want to be reminded at oh, 1 p.m. Very good. Now, there's some other things I can do, like does it repeat? No, it's just a one time thing. Now, if I wanted to set my, you know, maybe my credit card bill due as a, you know, every day or every day of a certain every specific day of the month. Easy for me to say I could set it for repeating every 30 days, right? I could set a priority down at the bottom there, and then I can also change what list I put it on. So for me, I have like an inbox and I have a today and I have, you know, there's, you can have whatever ones you want. And I think we've done videos about reminders, but now let's just go back up to the top and hit the add button. Okay. So again, I'm going to close out everything just so we're not, you know, so you don't think I'm trying to fool anybody here. Everything's closed. Okay. Now, when I go back to reminders, and I go in to my inbox. The first one, you can see the, the one we made, the basic version, 
the doctor appointment down there, all it says is doctor appointment, right? The one above it, the doctor appointment actually has the date and the time that we have chosen to be reminded of it, right? And by the way, that icon is still there. So I can still tap on the little envelope and go right to it if I choose to. But I really don't have to because it's all in there. And if I tap on it and then I tap on that I button for information, it shows me all the information that we've put in there. And it's going to remind me it's going to, you know, set up a notification or a, a beep or a bong or a whatever I've got on that specific date and time. Right. And I can always still, if I want to, go back to open it just by tapping on the icon there that's boink takes me right, <laughs> not the calculator, that takes me right to it. Let's go back, tap, and there it is, okay? So, two ways to do reminders. You can always just go into your inbox, into your email inbox, and all you have to do is tap on any piece of text. And I did this with the doctor appointment, but it doesn't matter. I could have tapped on any piece of text in there. I could have highlighted the whole thing, I could have just used the word doctor. It doesn't matter because once the share has happened, once it's been shared to reminders, it's going to link back to this exact email, whether I've highlighted the whole email or just one word. It doesn't matter. Okay, so make it easy on yourself. Do whatever you need. So again, why would I need this? Well, again, I get a lot of emails for things that need action in the future, right? Maybe for my business, I get an email that I don't need to respond to today, but you know, on Monday I need to turn in a report or a, you know something like that so I can set myself a reminder to come back to this email to find out what I need to reply to or a doctor's appointment or a dentist appointment or my car needs service or there's a hundred different things that I get reminded of by this particular thing here. So anyway, I hope that helps. Uh, with reminders, with creating a reminder out of an email. And like I said, maybe in the future, we will uh, take a quick look at some of the other apps that are available for email and other apps that are available for reminders as well. There's a really, really, I mean, those are two of the most popular types of apps on your iPhone and iPad. And there's dozens and dozens of different email apps and dozens of different reminder apps for that matter as well. Okay. But that's going to do it for today. Hope that was helpful. If uh, you did get some, you know, valuable information out of this, please feel free to share it with anybody you think, you know, might be helpful or, you know, might find it useful as well. If you would like some more information, well, they're all right here at the website, billsiphonetips.com. And uh, every video we do, including the iPhone Friday and the, uh, the Monday Minute, the Monday iPhone iPad Minute, are all going to be on this website. So feel free to stop on by and check them out. You can also join our mailing list so you get the weekly newsletter reminding you, ooh, reminding you of <laughs> what the videos were for the past week. And of course, if you have questions or comments or if you have an idea for a video that you'd like, if there's a question you know that you have and would like more information about how to do a specific thing with your iPhone or your iPad, let me know and we'll probably make a video out of it. We've done it before, we'll do it again. All right, that's gonna do it. Have yourself a great weekend. Uh, stay safe out there, and we'll see you next week for the uh, Monday Minute and iPhone Friday. Take care.